The problems on the Hillary Clinton campaign following an exclusive interview with WMUR that aired on Sunday. This involves the sale of a Canadian company, Uranium One, to the Russian government during her time as Secretary of State. And critics say her answers surrounding it pose some major questions. WMUR's Josh McKelvin here now to explain. Well, guys, the question posed to Clinton during our interview focused on big money paid in the form of a speaking fee to her husband, former President Bill Clinton, obviously, paid by one of the players involved in the Uranium One deal. But her answer is sparking major questions about her honesty and leadership. I can tell you, Josh, I have no problem answering any question. Uh, and one of those questions that aired on Sunday other, focused uh, on whether you know, the former Secretary no of State that. felt there was an appearance of conflict when her husband Bill Clinton was paid a half million dollar speaking fee by a Kremlin bank involved in the Russian deal for Uranium One. There's no basis for any of that. The timing doesn't work. It happened uh, in terms of the support for the foundation before I was Secretary of State. There were nine government agencies who had to sign off on that deal. I was not personally involved because that wasn't something the Secretary of State did. For her to claim that somehow she was not involved in this decision uh, uh, strikes me as extremely odd. The question itself was born of allegations made by the conservative author of the best-selling but highly critical book called Clinton Cash. And on Tuesday, Peter Schweizer blasted Clinton's answers on close-up in an op-ed that has gone national, insisting his timelines are correct, and that at the time of the sale of Uranium One, Clinton was negotiating directly with the Russian government over civilian nuclear technology in the so-called Russian reset. If, in fact, she was not involved in this decision, uh, it goes to the heart of leadership because the Secretary of State should be the one to sign off on transferring 20 percent of U.S. uranium to the Russian government. And by satellite, ABC News political director Rick Klein offered an ominous prediction of the implications that this issue could present Clinton moving forward. Do you believe that this has replaced the email scandal as the number one issue facing her campaign? This is a lot more serious in one way than the emails because the emails are about transparency and disclosure. When we talk about actions as Secretary of State, you start to talk about official actions and you question her honesty, her trustworthiness, uh, point by point in, in the case that's made against her. And that's where I think there's a real vulnerability. Well, late today, Hillary Clinton's campaign manager in New Hampshire released a statement in response to all this saying, quote, these stale attacks are based on sloppy research and attacks pulled out of thin air with no actual evidence, and they are missing the most important thing of all, the facts. Even so, the author of Clinton Cash stands by everything in his book, pointing out that his research has been verified by investigative teams ranging from the New York Times to ABC News. Reporting live, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.